Hey, what's up everyone? It's Duskmos, and today I'm taking a look at the Sia Lombard Benjolin. So in the Signal Colors palette video, I'm taking a first look at the Benjolin, which is Sia Lombard's interpretation of a circuit that's been around for a little bit now that is called a Rungler circuit, which um, this whole little mini synth is based around, which is essentially a chaos synthesizer that um, uses multiple oscillators and uh, yeah, creates a wild um, kind of seemingly untamable sort of wall of sound. Um, I just got this in the mail today. I've only had it in my hands for about, um, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, but I want to get into making a video for it right away because it's super new and um, there's only, I believe, 100 made um, from the first batch. And um, yeah, I think there's a lot of people might be curious about what this sounds like. And um, there is a demo video, Heinbach, the great Heinbach, um, all hail the Heinbach, uh, has a uh, video out for it right now. Um, that was the launch video for it. it, came out like four days ago or so. And um, yeah, really good content there. You can see it in a lot of different contexts. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. I'm finding it pretty untamable so far, uh, but like I said, I've only used it for a few minutes. And so I thought I would put together this video just to kind of show the very first, like kind of pull it out of the box and just see what you get without really knowing too much about um, what you're doing, what you might actually get from this. So no promises that I'm gonna come up with anything awesome uh, right out of the gate, but in just my little bit of experimentation so far, I found some really cool stuff. I've been able to get some kind of like liquid drip sounds. I've been able to get some pretty cool um, like filter ping type sounds and uh, definitely some pretty gnarly, um, really, I don't know, like, motion heavy uh, synth sounds that um, can get pretty aggressive uh, if you if you want it to. And uh, yeah, I think this is pretty fun. So let's check it out. Okay, so I've got the syntax here, which only has a little bit of a kick pattern and um, just a little bit of that. So like, obviously it's pretty techno-y, but from what I'm getting so far from this, it feels like that's gonna be an appropriate accompaniment to the Benjolin. But I'm gonna start without using that at all because we're just gonna explore here and hear what kind of sounds this thing can generate. So um, right away, I have it coming out of, well, the Syntax going into its own channel in the TX6 and then the Benjolin going into its own as well. It's only a mono device, but there's a stereo jack there. So I have it going in stereo, no reason for that, but um, yeah, just transparency. And then uh, it's coming out of the mixer going into my camera. So I'll bring the fader in and you'll hear already that I've, as I've been talking, this has been making some some noises for us. Just ready and waiting. Yeah, let's start twisting knobs and see what happens. the gain a little bit. This is 
the kind of filter ping territory. And you can kind of get it to latch into um, sort of stable patterns, but it does seem to kind of move away from that over time. Um, I left this thing just chilling for like five minutes when I walked away and it like slowly morphed out of what it was doing, which is kind of cool too. So this is a filter cutoff, this is resonance. I think this controls the like the main reference oscillator. This is like a secondary one, I believe. I'm not super set on the controls yet. Come back for another video on that. I think this is a um, like a filter mod. You hear kind of like dipping and diving. And then from what I understand, these three, I believe, just control like the relationship between the two oscillators. some pretty interesting um like complicated noise patterns with this i feel if you're into that kind of thing i also got what sounded like a thunderstorm happening earlier which was pretty cool i definitely got something that sounded like dubstep at one point Also got some vowel type sounds out of this. I don't really know how to get back to that sound though, but maybe we'll hit it. time to start the uh, kick pattern, so let's do it.
Tempo matching is pretty difficult. Just... <laughs> sounds. <laughs> All right, let me bring it back in.
Yeah, I feel like this could be cool for some textures, like just some background action. Obviously, you sample it, sequence it, you can make it a little bit more rhythmic in time with what you're doing.
take this here and see how it morphs. See, that's pretty steady. He definitely just moves around a little bit. Pretty cool, definitely leads to new outcomes. That's a cool bit, I think. And there we go. That is the Benjolin from See It Lombard. Um, really fun little crazy chaos noise synth. Um, sounds pretty digital and um, glitchy and cool in all the best ways. Um, I feel like there's some cool voices in here. I'm excited to try out um, the Banana Jacks and patch it in interesting ways and combine it maybe with like my Coco Qantas and see what that does. Um, I definitely will be sampling this and trying to make some cool loops from it and uh, transforming it a bit. We'll definitely try it with some effects as well at some point. Um, so yeah, definitely come back if you want a little bit more of an in-depth um, demo of this and kind of a better explanation of what all this is doing and what all these do. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.